Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and I'm not in Edel Bowden anymore, but this time I'm back here home. And this is basically the version 1.0 of my new home theater room. Now, there are a couple of challenges involved. So, uh, for example, this room, of course, is supposed to be pretty dark, so I had to get some lighting in here. So you see these uh, pretty big soft boxes on the left and right. And I would say that this is the version 1.0 of this room. So everything works more or less, but nothing is perfect yet. And there's still a lot of work to do. So when we first start, um, we see what I'm sitting on right here is a brand new couch that's very comfortable. And I really like it here for the home theater room. I actually had a different idea before with like uh, stairs and different couches in front of each other, like a real movie theater room kind of, but uh, this is a far easier and also a very comfortable solution. So I'm very happy uh, with this couch itself. Also has a little bit of space here for the remotes as well as the Xbox One controllers. So I think this is pro uh, quite nice. Now here up on the ceiling, we actually have the Optima HD26 projector that I already showed you in a video. And I mounted it to the ceiling, obviously, which is good in such a home theater room. And then I have some cable tunnels, whatever they're called in English, I have no idea, uh, mounted here to the ceiling and the walls. But you can also see that this looks pretty good, but it's far from perfect. So for example, it ends right there and I still have to get some extension uh, for it so that it looks better. But again, this is version 1.0, so everything kind of works, but it's not perfect. Um, also, what you can see right here are the uh, surround boxes or surround speakers uh, of my LG 5.1 home theater system that I had in my living room before I actually scored a used deal on this. And the system in general is just absolutely amazing. And we really have to like um, pull it down uh, so that nobody complains in terms of neighbors. <laughs> so this is a quite nice system. And now I'll actually show you the other half of the room, but I have to uh, reposition all uh, the softbox and so on. So it will take a second. Before we do that, um, here are some curtains in front of the windows so that there's barely li any light coming in. Now, these were just a quick first solution and they are basically like blankets. So they let in a little bit of light still. And there's the new curtain to the right which I still have to iron and I have five of them and then I have to put them up there. So yeah, a lot of work to do, but uh, I guess we'll get to the more interesting stuff. And this is of course um, the screen itself, as well as uh, then all the tech that I have in the cabinet below it. So here we are now on the other side of the room. Now, of course, this looks a little bit weird with this white light coming from the soft boxes and this yellow light. Um, coming from the cabinets below but you just have to imagine that of course the white light in general isn't here when we actually use the room this is just for video lighting so that the quality isn't too bad now here we have the Optima projector screen which has a diagonal of 92 inches so I think it's I don't know like 2 meters by 1 meter 50 so a pretty big uh, just surface for the projector now Usually you can actually extend this and then also minimize it again, but I actually put a lot of nails in here so that the surface is really flat for the better picture quality because before this just wasn't the case and I wasn't satisfied. So uh, this might look a little bit weird, but it's certainly better for the picture quality itself. Now, other than that, we of course have some uh, Blu-rays in the cabinets as well as Xbox One games. And we have a very old Pioneer receiver right here as well as the receiver for this uh, 5.1 system by LG, which also has a 3D Blu-ray player um, included. And then we have my Xbox One right here, which is used not only for gaming, but also for all entertainment apps like Netflix, YouTube, and so on. And I think that the Xbox One also for these kind of tasks is a very good choice. And this is basically it in terms of what we have right here in the room currently. Now, of course, I still want to stress that this is under construction and that there will be a lot of changes coming very soon, but at least this first room is somewhat finished now, which is definitely good. You also, of course, see the front speakers of the 5.1 system as well as the subwoofer there in the corner. And I have to say, so far, I'm pretty happy. Of course, 
I really want to get this room completely finished, maybe put some uh, pictures on the wall, maybe some acoustic foam and other stuff. A lot of ideas, but it just takes a while to actually realize them all and uh, just also to put the curtains on there, to iron them. It's just a lot of work and I'm really busy at work as well. So yeah, they'll just have to wait. But so far I'm pretty happy and I'm really looking forward to what you guys have to say. How do you like the setup here? What do you think I should or I could improve? I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Maybe you guys have some ideas that I didn't come up with yet. So I'm looking forward to reading you guys' comments. But this is this room for now and I really hope to bring an update on the rest of the apartment uh, on Friday this week. And that's basically it. So if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as like the video itself. I hope to see you next time.